Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Dodilbek Abdul Satorov and Magnus Carlsen. This is a game from the World Rapid Championship 2021. This is the second time that these two players met. They met each other in 2019 in the Moscow Blitz tournament and the game ended in a draw. Abdul Satorov had white pieces and he started with c4, the English opening. Carlsen played knight to f6, knight to c3, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, e4, bishop to b4. Let's take it back. What's wrong with bishop to c5? Nothing wrong with bishop to c5, but in this position, White can play knight takes on e5, and after knight takes on e5, d4. There is a similar idea in the Italian opening. So let's go to Italian opening. After e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, knight to c3, bishop to c5, white can take on e5, and after knight takes on e5, d4. Back to our game. Bishop to b4 was played, d3, d6, white to move, a3 was played. In a tie-break game against Nepo, Abdul Satoru played h3 in this position. Here he played a3, bishop to c5, b4, bishop to b6, knight to a4, pinning the knight, knight takes on b6, a takes on b6, bishop to b2, bishop takes on f3, queen takes on f3, white has a bishop pair, knight pair, in a close position is fine. Knight to d7, g3, queen to f6, queen to d1, declining the trade. Knight to f8, intending knight to e6 and then knight to d4. Bishop to g2, knight to e6, castling, black to move. If castling, then f4. If knight to d4, then bishop to h3. Back to our game. Carlsen played g5, preventing f4. Bishop to h3, h5. Black will not castle kingside. Bishop takes on e6. Queen takes on e6. b5. Knight to b8. f4. This is a brave move because black will castle queenside. g takes on f4. g takes on f4. Knight to d7. King to h1. Queen to g4. Queen to f3. f6. Queen to e3, castling, f5, and black must be careful. h4 was played. Let's play a random move here. What happens if king goes to b8? Then rook to g1 may be uncomfortable. Back to our game. h4, rook to g1. Queen to h5, rook to g6, rook from d to g8, rook from a to g1, rook takes on g6, f takes on g6. What happens if rook takes on g6? Then black can give check on d1, perhaps. Back to our game. f takes on g6, rook to g8 g7, queen to h7, looks like the pawn is dead. Queen to h3, rook takes on g7, rook takes on g7, queen takes on g7, queen takes on h4. The material is equal, but the white king is more exposed than the black king. The question is, which minor piece is better in this position? Knight to c5 was played, how to defend the pawn? Abdul Satoru played, bishop to c1, c6. If knight takes on d3, then check. 
back and after the king goes somewhere where to b8 then queen takes knight back to our game c6 b takes on c6 b takes on c6 check king to b7 queen to f3 queen to h7 bishop to d2 king to a6 king to g2 intending to improve the position of the king and to advance the h pawn queen to g7 check king to f1 queen to h7 h3 d5 queen to f5 queen to g8 c takes on d5 c takes on d5 e takes on d5 queen takes on d5 king to e2 king to b5 intending to capture the white pawn on the a file and create a pass pawn on the b file bishop to e3 queen to g2 check bishop to f2 king to a4 h4 e4 d takes on e4 knight takes on e4 and white must be careful abdul Sattaro played queen to f3 what happens if h5 is played then knight to g3 check and black wins after the king moves somewhere where knight takes queen and black wins back to our game that is why in this position abdul Sattaro played queen to f3 queen to g6 h5 queen to e8 bishop to e3 it is black to move and this is another critical moment in this position carlsen played f5 the other way to go was queen takes pawn on h5 and then after queen takes queen knight to g3 check after king to f3 knight takes on h5 the game would probably end in a draw but it looks like that carlsen was not happy with half a point against his young opponent back to our game f5 was played h6 queen to e5 king to f1 queen to d5 king to g2 queen to g8 check king to h3 knight to g5 check forcing white to take the knight queen takes on g5 queen to c6 check king to a3 black is a pawn up but white pass pawn is close to promotion the game continued queen to c3 check king to a4 queen to c4 check king to a5 queen to c3 check king to a4 queen to g7 queen to e3 check king to h4 f4 queen to d7 b5 h7 wow the pawn is very close to glory queen to e5 king to g4 f3 a pawn sacrifice to make it possible to give checks forever king takes pawn queen to f6 check king to e4 queen to h4 check king to d5 the white king will try to find a hiding place on the queen side queen to h5 check king to c6 queen to g6 check king to c7 trying to hide the king white is intending to trade queens at the right time queen to g3 check king to b7 queen to f3 check king to a6 queen to f6 check king to a7 queen to f2 check king to b7 queen to f3 check queen to c6 queen to f7 check queen to c7 queen to f3 king to a6 queen to a8 check king to b6 queen to h8 it is white to move and to start checking queen to c2 check king to a3 queen to d3 check king to a2 this is very important moment king to c5 was played not king to b5 capturing the pawn would open the white king to thousands of checks maybe not thousand checks maybe only 999 back to our game king to c5 b4 queen to d2 check king to a1 abdul satorov was waiting for this moment why 
white. Play the move and black is designed and the move is queen to d4. Check. Castle designed in view of this continuation. Queen takes queen. King takes queen. b3. Pawn to h8 queen. If b2, then check. And after king to b1, king to d3, king to c1, queen to h1, check. Mate, and let's go back. If in this position, king goes to a2, then king to c3, after b2, check, and after king to b1, queen to a4, king to c1, the only move, and then queen to c2, check, mate. Congratulations to young Abdu Satorov on beating Magnus Carlsen and also winning the World Rapid Championship 2021. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.